Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Morning YouTube. I'm back with you today to give you a little lesson in uh, why we align uh, radio receivers. Um, to do that I'm going to be referring to some charts, diagrams, pictures, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'll be posting those and uh, just basically narrating this uh, little thing. So. Stay tuned, we'll get right into it. Alright, first thing we're going to look at here is a typical AM radio, okay? And it's also known as a super heterodyne radio receiver, okay? Uh, I'm going to just a quick little why they call it that. They call it that because it mixes or combines two different frequencies to produce some and the difference along with the original frequencies basically. Um, so what, what that means is uh, when you like uh, you're tuning your AM radio to say 700 on the dial that's 700 uh, kilohertz is what that is. Okay and so you say you're close enough to where you re receive that station uh, it basically comes in and gets mixed with another frequency to produce a third and, like I said, fourth frequency. Uh, and that's used to uh, produce sound at the other end, and that's how we're going to explain to you. So I uh, hope that's clear enough. But like I said, that's, that's what a super heterodyne receiver. Heterodyne just means combine, and super means uh, high frequency, basically. So... Uh, that's what that means. So what we're going to do next is look at the first stage of the uh, radio receiver, which is the antenna. Okay, what the antenna does is picks those signals out of the air and routes them to the next stage. And, and you know, it takes, it, it also doesn't get just one frequency. It receives all the frequencies that are available to that radio okay so you guys live in a city like New York City and it has a bunch of radio stations they're all going to be fed into that antenna okay they're there in the air for the grabbing okay so basically what uh, so what that does is is uh, grabs the antenna or the signals from the air so uh, <laughs> We'll move on down to the next next uh, stage now. All right, the next stage on the uh, radio is the RF amplifier, and that just means radio frequency amplifier. Now, what that does is it's uh, it's tuned to the frequency that you want to receive, basically. Say we're we're going to use 700 as the uh, frequency of choice here, so. Uh, you set your dial to 700. That sets the frequency of the coils and capacitors inside the tuning circuit to that frequency. Okay, and what it does is amplifies that frequency for the next stage. And uh, it's not a very big amplification, but it's enough to get it uh, enough signal to where it can be used with the next stage. And that's uh, where we'll move on to right now. All right, the next next uh, stage is the mixer, as you see there, um, <laughs> and that's really a simple name for what it does. Um, it mixes the frequency of the RF amplifier coming in there, as you can see the arrow pointing that way, uh, along with uh, another element, which is the local oscillator. The local oscillator produces a, a frequency to mix or beat with the desired frequency that you want to receive.
to produce uh, four separate frequencies. And what those frequencies are, are the original tuned frequency, the 700, that's in the mixer. The other uh, provided uh, frequency is from the local oscillator itself, and that is also tuned using that tuning dial. When you tune that tuning dial, it tunes that local oscillator as well as the stages of the receiver of, of the antenna to where it, you know, it, it uh, I'm trying to think of the word I want to use. It selects, I guess is what I'm trying to say, those, those frequencies and mixes them in that mixer. Okay, so basically you have four frequencies coming out of the mixers. You have the uh, original signal, the 400. You have the signal from the local oscillator. Plus, you have what's called the sum and the difference of those frequencies. Okay? And one of those frequencies will be called the intermediate frequency, the IF. And I know you've heard me throw that term around before, but uh, here we'll go to the next stage and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, the uh, IF stage uh, is a tuned stage. And by that I mean when you tune this uh, stage, it provides the maximum signal for the the next stages. And normally in a radio, there's at least two IF stages. There's a first IF and a second IF. And those both amplify that signal. Okay? And the primary signal they are amplifying is the intermediate frequency, which on most radios, AM radios, is 455 kilohertz. So, that's... Uh, when I say align the radio, that's the that's what we're going to be primarily adjusting is that uh, tuned frequency of the IF, and we want the maximum uh, signal coming through those to get to the next stage. So that's what we're doing in the IF, and that's where our uh, alignment procedure takes place. And like I say, there's uh, capacitors and coils in there that have to be tuned and that's what I'll be doing with this uh, signal generator, okay? Uh, that's what it's used for. So, uh, like I say, the next stage of the radio is uh, coming up now, so. All right, the next stage, as you can see, is called the demodulator. Now, why they call it that is simple. When, um, when the, at the radio station, the AM radio station, um, when the DJ or whoever talks into the microphone, he basically that signal goes to a, a carrier wave where it is combined, it's modulated. Okay? So his voice goes over that carrier wave and comes to your radio, okay, through the, through the air. And basically, what you do when you demodulate it is you remove the RF from it and they take it back down to an audio frequency. Just basically, if it, we were speaking into the microphone right there inside your radio. That's what the demodulator does, and I'm really not going to get into how it does it, but it's pretty simple, really. So, Next, we go to the uh, audio frequency amplifier. Now, once the uh, signal has been turned into a, a simple um, audio frequency, and when I, when I say audio frequency, this is basically like if you were playing your stereo record or something like that. That's the, that's the audio frequency. That's the uh, signal that's produced by the stylus on your record player or whatever and amplified into a, a, the, the sound that you hear coming out of the speaker. So that's what the AF amplifier does. It uh, amplifies the, uh, the uh, signal coming out of the modulator and puts it into a usable form so that it can be heard on the next stage, which is the speaker. Okay, the speaker is basically a simple device that just turns audio frequencies into sound. And uh, that's a pretty simple diagram of a radio receiver, a super heterodyne radio receiver. And that's basically why I wanted to do cover this, uh, just to show you why, I, why we have to align radios and there are more complicated procedures when you get into FM radio. It's more complicated, much more complicated. And that's why I'm sticking with AM because it's a simple operation. You, you basically align the IF 
and you might tune the RF a hair and you might set the local oscillator. Now like I said that local oscillator it uh, it changes in frequency. When you turn that tuning knob it changes in frequency as, as much as the uh, filter does for the uh, RF coming into the radio. So that's why it it maintains that 455 kilohertz difference in the uh, so that the IF will be steadying and, and you know it has to be the same all the time when you turn, tune it so it has to be matched to that uh, it has to be pretty much matched to the RF filter uh, coming in there so it otherwise you wouldn't get much of a, a signal out so like I said that's uh, pretty much just it, it from here um, I'm hoping, hoping that will help you understand when I do get into this align the radios of why I'm doing what I do and um, what it means and things like that. I, I understand that uh, I'm trying to keep this as simple as I could uh, and I, I apologize if you you guys uh, that know all this stuff uh, if I've oversimplified it but I'm just trying to help the guys. I know I have a lot of guys that have no you know electronics experience out there watching this stuff and uh, you know I like to make it a little interesting for them so uh, that's why I'm, I went over this but if you if you ever hear the term super heterodyne radio, that's what that means. That's the, that block diagram there is basically how it operates. Uh, I'm going to go over it one more time. It comes in the antenna. It's amplified by the RF amplifier. It goes into the mixer where it's mixed with the local oscillator uh, signal. And out of that signal comes the IF, the inter intermediate frequency. And the IF is tuned to the maximum it can tune to. That would that would gives you the best reception, and after it goes through that, it comes to the demodulator where it's turned back into an audio signal, amplified by the audio frequency amplifier, and comes out your speaker where you hear it. That's pretty much it. That's really kind of simple, but that's the way it works. So, thanks for watching, and have a good day.